Hello everyone, Anita here and welcome to my studio tour. <laughs> oh, we are having some issues. So I've seen these videos recently where people have been posting what the real condition of their studio is and I thought it was so much fun. Are you stretching there? <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to actually show this because this morning I had a problem with finding my, my uh, camera battery and I thought, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity because we are after a stream I am working here, there is a mess, there is a very hairy cut couch. <laughs> so to be fair, you know, this is not the worst this um, studio has seen, but over the years I have reduced the number of things that I have in my room, so it's actually kind of a little bit easier to keep it clean. It's still not perfect, but you know, it's definitely much more reduced compared to what it was before. So you guys actually haven't seen my studio yet, so this is a pretty good first <laughs> first um, opinion, first, you know. Uh, but this is my door here, so this is how we go in. This used to be my old bedroom behind this wall, um, and that used to be my studio. This was my bedroom, now this is my bedroom, uh, this is my studio, that's my bedroom. So I have, I got on the better deal out of the, out of the two. Um, there is a, a much bigger window here, um, the room is much bigger as well, and I just, I like it much better, so, you know. <laughs> so when we come in, um, there is, of course, my little couch here, uh, which is just like a, like a little reading hook, pretty much. I just read it here. As you can see, there's a bunch of discarded mangas. There is some, there's a sketchbook there, there is a, a box, a box, I think these are the fine liners. Yeah, these are the fine liners. Here's my cat just hanging out and she's shedding a lot. She does not like the Furminator. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but I vacuum it um, quite a lot and it, she still leaves her fur everywhere. Why do you shed so much, huh? Oh, so cute. Um, so yeah, so this is... Uh, this is <laughs> she really wants to be on camera. Yeah, okay. Oi, sorry for the ear. <laughs> Um, so that yeah, so that that's my couch. Pretty 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 normal thing over here. Then we have this is an old bag from CNA that's been standing here for a month now because uh, that's the last shopping I did with my mother when she was over. Uh, there are some things here I've painted recently, so there are some fixtures and I had I don't even know there's a lamp there. There's another lamp there, like a lava lamp bottom part. <laughs> I don't know what to do with these things, so they're just laying there for the time being. Here I was, there's a piece of garbage. Uh, <laughs> my desk, my computer desk. Um, this is just where I put away stuff when I, you know, so, I, so they don't have to lay on my painting station. There's some papers, sketches, some random USB um, extension cord. There's some watercolor paper under there, I see. Uh, that's just dishes. I probably should take them down. This is my me. Uh, the English classes I have with my mom. So more discarded packaging. My sewing box. Discarded lamplight. <laughs> uh, my water bottle. Uh, my pretty, pretty flowers. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? They've just been opening right now. I got them for my boyfriend for Women's Day. He finally stopped. Um, he admitted that Women's Day perhaps exists. <laughs> He's working with a lot of more Polish people lately. But I still remember when we just met the first Women's Day, he, he literally told me, but that's just something made up. It doesn't really exist. <laughs> so oh, this time I got flowers for him. So, so good for him. He's expanding his mind. Uh, that's my very, very busy agenda. Uh, it's my desk, my uh, my computer desk. There is a coffee mug. I really love this coffee mug. It's so cute. Sorry for the different uh, weird light, but it's actually uh, the afternoon now. And I put on my umbrella light so you guys can see a bit better. So there's another one of those uh, discarded light bulbs. I haven't decided yet whether or not I want to just recycle them or keep them for later just in case. 
So here is the packaging from the new light bulbs, my old watercolor sets, all kinds of different things because I've been looking for that watercolor set during the live stream. And so of course I had to make a huge mess because of that. So yeah, there's some books that should not be here. Uh, masking tape. Now here is like the whole mess after a live stream. Still here. This is my live streaming setup. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, there are some paintings I will be finishing today. Um, shavings, lamps, toilet paper bits. <laughs> now this is my standing desk. Uh, I will talk about it a bit more if I make, when I make a proper tour, but um, this is basically, this area here is the area where I just keep all kinds of things that do not fit anywhere else. So as you can see, there is a bunch of these books that I made in the recent, um, my picture book collection, and I still haven't put them back. They're just laying there. Now this, uh, this basket is just there, you know, some plastic cups. There's this Pilates thing that I use for stretching, foam tape, <laughs> their palette, um, palette plates. Under there, these things. I have to make some kind of curtain there because this is just, this makes me so sad. My cat is just like, paint me like one of your French girls. Aren't you comfy? Aren't you comfy, Poo Poo? There we go. She's distracting me. Sorry for that. So the things under there are actually there on purpose. This uh, bottom one is just a big box of uh, envelopes. And these two are for recycling. This is plastic, this is paper, and this is just regular non-sticky, non-moldy garbage. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and this is the box where they're just basically garbage. This is the box where the new light bulbs came in. Um, there are peanuts in there, like the packing peanuts. So that has to go to the tool shed to be recycled. And then when we turn around, Except that my hallway, another thing she made, um, this is her other spot, my cat's other spot, that thing, and she made it completely covered in fur. <laughs> this is her bowl, like, you know, drinking bowl, she just moves it around. This is my um, T-Rex. This is just, just a cheap, like, a rubber thing. I don't know why I like it so much. I just picked it up at the store one day and I, I, just, I just loved it. <laughs> And this here, these are my like, primary, how do you call it? Primarily like storage shelves. And these guys are, um, if, if they did not exist, there would be just a lot more mess in my room. Uh, I use also this studio as a, a way to dry my bigger clothes that do not fit on the drying rack. Let's put this here. And, uh, and when you open it, I try to keep it organized and it kind of sort of is, but this, this, this unit used to be for uh, storing my prints, but nowadays it's just for storing everything. Whenever I don't know where to put a piece of paper, it's just gonna go here. And also I have like this little display here that's now covered by the privacy foil. And this little display used to be, um, you know, nicely organized, but I've been moving these cabinets for painting my walls <laughs> and everything kind of fall down. So I just left it there. I was like, well, eh, whatever. Uh, so there's plenty of stuff here. Uh, the only thing that I keep here that's kind of sort of organized are these the uh, collective paintings. Um, they're just laying there because I want them to be, you know, somewhere close by. Um, this is quite organized and that's just because I am not touching it at all. I just put it there and it's there. It's one of those, uh, you know, units where um, everybody, I think, has one where you just don't really, you use it once in a while, but you don't really need it every time. So that's the only reason why it stays organized. <laughs> and this one here, Oh yeah, this is also one of those units. Except this here, because I just stuffed my BJD here. 
and I just didn't know what to do with it. So I was like, nah, just just there. It's out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> and here's just my manga collection, very small one. My Market Sun Demo collection. And then there's a bunch of different boxes that I try sort of kind of keeping organized. I'm actually looking at it right now. It doesn't look so bad, guys. I am I always thought it's, you know, it's such a mess, but it's not so bad. To be fair though, I started cleaning this for when my mom came over. Because, uh, you know, there has to be some kind of... Um, wasn't I supposed to give this to my mother? Dang it! <laughs> when your mother comes over, there has to be cleanliness everywhere, right? <laughs> it's like a... It's just like an unspoken rule. <laughs> And then there is my paper. You know, it's much cleaner now that I think about it as well. Much cleaner than before because I've actually painted the walls, so I had to clean the floors. Here behind is another reason why I need more shelving units. This, <laughs> these are all my, like, except this one because this is actually my scrapbooking, like, project life binder. But these things here are mostly my, is my artwork, my tax thingies and other similar office related stuff and then tons of um knitting supplies i need another show for this i mean seriously it's just laying there come on uh. wow that's an angle and then there is my handy dandy yoga mat that i do not do yoga on because i do not do yoga <laughs> But it's very handy to stand on when... Oh, are we focusing? Focus. Thank you. But it's very handy when you are um, standing for many hours on the desk, on the standing desk. So yeah, that's it for my really honest tour. It's actually not as bad as I kind of like the first glance when I took it, I was like, oh no, this is so bad. This is going to be a disaster. How can I even show anybody how this looks like? That's actually not so bad. I mean, yeah, I can live with that. I mean, this wall color really helps. Oh, I also have those little pendant. I don't know how this thing is called. Flag, pendant flags. They don't want to focus, so focus, please. Thank you. But yeah, guys, if you have a messy desk, if you have a messy studio, don't worry. There's plenty of other people who have messy desks as well. <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching and being here with me. Leave a like and comment below to tell me how messy your desk is or your studio space is. I am really curious. Let's compare experiences. And I'm also curious, what do you guys do to keep it clean? Um, I try to like reduce the amount of stuff I have. That's my general tip. So what do you guys think? <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.